microbes in human welfare. In this part, we are going to the next session, which is microbes in industrial products. The earlier was the microbes in household products. The next part is microbes in industrial products. Now, regarding the industrial products, industries will produce certain products so that are produced in large quantities and which are sold in large amounts. Out of that, we are going to study it into three parts. The first part is fermented beverages, second antibiotics, third chemicals, enzymes and other bioactive molecules. So this is divided into three parts, chemicals, enzymes and other bioactive molecules. So these are the three parts where we are going to study here. Out of that, first let's start with the fermented beverages. The first part will be the fermented beverages. Now, beverages are nothing but they are carbonated products having more or lot uh, amount of carbon dioxide. Fermentation is a process where there is an aerobic breakdown of certain food products. So there is an incomplete breakdown of certain food products like uh, the sugars. Anaerobic breakdown of sugars into ethanol. Okay, now during this anaerobic process, as it is an anaerobic process, where we also call it as a fermentation process. There are certain microorganisms which are used to produce uh, ethanol from sugar and uh, that microorganism is yeast. Now already we know regarding the process of uh, alcoholic fermentation. Ethanol is nothing but ethyl alcohol. Okay now here sugar is converted into ethanol. This is in the industries and how it is produced? It is produced in large scale. So that is regarding the part of fermentation process. Okay. Now regarding the fermented beverages, these beverages are nothing but they are alcoholic beverages. Remember in the previous part of what we have studied, in the previous session we have studied regarding the part of the toddy. Toddy is the fermented sap of palm plant that is used as traditional drink. And that toddy is produced from naturally occurring microbes like what? like yeast and bacteria but here in the industries we are talking about the industrial products in the industries the alcoholic products are produced in a proper ratio with a uh, particular percentage of alcohol okay so that is regarding the part of it then regarding the fermentation of the beverages sugar is converted into ethanol this ethanol with the different ratios with the different percentage, different types of alcoholic products are also produced. Let's study what are those. Now in the types, there are mainly two products where which are produced by the fermentation process. The first one is distillation products and second one is non-distillation. Then what is the difference between distillation and non-distillation? First, let's see what is a non-distillation process. Now here, here what we take, we are taking the sugar or any of the raw material, not only sugar, not only the sugar cane juice, not only the grapes, not only the apple, irrespective of that wheat, whichever the raw material it might be. Raw material is taken. For this raw material, we are going to add the yeast. Okay, now the question comes. The yeast that we add here, the yeast that we add here is nothing but the same yeast that we use in the bakeries. Because of this reason, the yeast 
which is used in the alcoholic industries. This is commonly called as a Brewer's yeast. The yeast which is used in alcoholic industries to produce ethanol or ethyl alcohol is called as a Brewer's yeast. If it is used in bakeries, we call it as baker's yeast. If it is used in breweries, it is called as a Brewer's yeast. What is the scientific name of this Brewer's yeast? The scientific name is Saccharomyces. Cerveceum. The scientific name is also same. Now remember, in this chapter, we are mainly concentrating on the microbes from which certain products are produced. So that's why the name of the microbe is more important here in this topic. Now, fermented beverages, previous yeast is used. And its name is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So the same yeast is used for the formation of ethanol. Okay. This ethanol, it can be produced by distillation as well as non-distillation. Non-distillation is nothing but by using the raw material when we add the yeast, the uh, raw material undergoes the process of fermentation. After fermentation, we are extracting the alcohol from it. The percentage of alcohol in the non distillation alcoholic products is less and in the distillation process we are boiling this fermented product removing water from it we are making or increasing the concentration of alcohol that means the concentration of alcohol is increased in the distillation products and in the non distillation the concentration of the alcohol is not increased so that's why here what we can say the distillation Concentration of alcohol is more here and here the concentration of alcohol is less. That means the percentage of alcohol is high in the distillation products, the percentage of alcohol is less in non-distilled alcoholic products. Okay. Now we have certain examples for the distillation. Alcoholic products like brandy, whiskey, rum, gin, vodka, and other alcoholic brands. Then, non distillation. Here we have certain examples. The examples for this is beer and wine. That means uh, beer and wine are non distilled alcoholic products, while brandy, whiskey, rum, gin, vodka all are produced by distillation. Okay, generally, what we can say the concentration of alcohol or the percentage of alcohol is less in case of these brands, and the percentage of alcohol is a very high or more in case of uh, these brands. Okay, now suppose if we look at the concentration of alcohol, roughly because of from one brand to another brand, the percentage of alcohol varies. So that's why in general, what might be the percentage of alcohol in each of these non-distilled as well as distilled alcoholic products? So let's see. Okay, now let us take if we have beer. Beer contains around. 3 to 6 percent or even in the concentration might be increased up to 8 percent also but uh, in general it has around 3 to 6 percent of alcohol that means uh, here has least concentration of alcohol okay least concentration of alcohol okay that has undergone the process of fermentation then if we look at the next one, wine. Second one, wine. Wine is having a little bit more concentration of alcohol. That is around 11.6 to 12% of alcohol. Even the alcohol concentration might be increased. But generally wine is having around 11.6 to 12% of alcohol. Regarding the part of the wine, Almost 
we have different types of white and in that white one is a grape white and uh, sometimes the color of the white is a red it is due to the red grapes we call it as a red white red white is due to the color of the red grapes okay it appears red in color and suppose if the wine is produced from an apple it is called as cider apple wine okay wine is produced through the grapes also through the many of the products wine can be produced and there is a one wine which is called as a sparkling wine which is used in victory ceremony and it is called as champagne it's called as a champagne so this champagne is used as a sparkling wine which is used in victory ceremonies okay so almost uh, these are the different types of uh, wines okay so wine can be produced from any of the products okay even through the grapes also normal grapes also wine is produced that's why you can just observe the over ripe on grapes it smells alcohol because of the presence of the yeast when the yeast undergoes fermentation finally it forms into wine so that's why if we eat more ripe on grapes then almost you will feel little bit dizziness it is due to the presence of the wine okay so this is the red part of the wine so these two are the non distilled alcoholic products that contains a less amount of alcohol less percentage of alcohol the least alcohol alcoholic percentage is in beer that contains 3 to 6% okay then next let us see the percentage okay more or less average percentage of alcohol in all of this brandy next one is brandy brandy contains 60 to 70 percentage of alcohol then fourth one is a whiskey whiskey contains around 60 to 75 percent of alcohol then rum rum contains around 40 percent of alcohol in a major in major in between 40 to 50 percent also then gin gin contains 40 percent of then vodka vodka contains around 60 to 80 percent of alcohol then apart from this we have other sorts of rectified spirit and absolute alcohol get this part here it contains a least amount of alcohol beer it is a least now these two are non distilled alcoholic products and all these are distilled alcoholic products now out of these out of these brands can you identify which contains a highest amount of alcohol out of this get a percentage yes it is the that contains highest but it is not sure because from brand to brand may the percentage of alcohol may also vary but with respect to these distilled alcoholic products vodka contains highest amount of alcohol that is around 60 to 80% then apart from this we have two more alcoholic products one is rectified spirit another one is absolute alcohol this rectified spirit is also used in spirit lamps okay for the purpose of burning even we already know ethanol is also used in the uh, petroleum products okay 
Now rectify square it will contain as 95 percent of alcohol. Rectify square it 95 percent of alcohol. Absolute alcohol. This is 100 percent alcohol. This is 100 percent alcohol. Highly concentrated alcohol. Absolute square it. Okay. Now look at these brands. In these brands, the percentage of alcohol varies. It depends on the concentration. And look at this absolute alcohol rectified spirit. If rectified spirit and absolute alcohol is consumed by a person, then he dies on the spot. It is highly dangerous to consume 100% alcohol. So that's why the, there is a dilution of these alcohols. So that's why consumption of raw alcohol sometimes leads to death due to high concentration of this. Okay. So this is regarding the part of the various types of alcoholic brands and especially they are called as a fermented beverages. Remember there are two different types of fermented beverages. One is a distillation produced by distillation process, other one is produced by non-distillation process. Non-distillation we have only two products and distillation we have many products. The least concentration of alcohol is present in beer and the highest concentration of alcohol is present in vodka. Okay. And uh, there are various types of wines also as we discussed apart from this we have again different types of wine brands. Okay. So this is regarding the part of uh, microbes in industrial product out of which the first part is fermented beverages. The second part of the fermented beverages, the next part is regarding the antibiotics and that antibiotics will continue.